Turner Flow here, Matt Jolis, World Sports Show, live at the Maryland Soccer Plex. We are here today for FC Kansas City coming in for the Washington Spirit. It'll be the first game that Mark Parsons is head coach. What's your thoughts going into this as a new regime? Is this a time for them to make a run at the playoffs? Well, I mean, it definitely is. I think, you know, Mark coming in is definitely going to create a different spark with inside of the Washington Spirit. They've been winless in their last five games. They need something to, to push them forward. And, you know, certainly also with the few of the new acquisitions as well. You know, Taylor's going to have her first game in a Washington Spirit jersey. And uh, they have a chance with the Kansas City team that's missing, you know, the major cogs um, out of their lineup. Lauren Cheney gone for the next two games as well. Renee Cuellar, who was their leading scorer on the season, yeah, traded Lloyd away. Said, Lloyd doesn't travel for road games. This is an opportunity right. that I really think that Washington is going to win this game. That's my prediction. You predicted KC and the reasons I'm thinking. Matheson coming back, even if Taylor doesn't play, just the idea that she's available in the roster right. just gives that team that spark. And you've got a new coach. you got Harris making her comments last Friday. So this is a team that ready to make that run, maybe make a run for fourth place, try to get that last playoff window. So that's why I'm going with DC winning this one. Why are you going with KC to win today? I just think KC has, you know, been predominantly a strong team throughout the course of the season. Um, they, you know, they've certainly shown, uh, you know, that they've been able to overcome adversity at times when they had Cheney missing for the games. And you know, they have confident and uh, competent players that they can slot into place. I, you know, I certainly expect that we're going to see Sinead Farrelly in the lineup today. You're going to see probably Lauren Sussman push up into more of a midfield position than being, you know, a stalwart on the back line as she has been. So, you know, Kansas City is one of those teams that can, you know, almost like be like a puzzle. You pull a piece out, but there's another piece yeah, that can go right of, back they've got a in. lot of weapons. They don't have a lot of the big, big, you know, flashy names like the Carter Lloyds or such, but they do have a lot of players that you can say you can plug in and play. You know, you, right. you've seen Sinead score some beautiful goals this year. Sessman's played great defense. So, to me, it's anybody's game. I mean, I do see DC winning this game, UC Casey, but I see this being a one-goal game. I mean, what do you think of that? I thought it's going to be a one-goal game. Yeah, I mean, you have two of, you know, legitimately two of the best goaltenders in the NWSL, you know, between Ashlyn Harris and Nicole Barnhart. You know, Barnhart took Sky Bowl FC, you know, scoreless for 80 minutes of the game the other night before two absolutely crazy goals you know occurred that ended up in a 2-2 draw so um i mean i think this is a game that you could say sky i'm sorry you could say kansas city's gonna win it but, or washington spirit could win it but yeah i think it's gonna be one zip either way one zip i'm thinking a 2-1 but you know one goal games should be a great turnout you know it's july 4th weekend so a lot of the families that are staying in town should come down and check out the action we'll be here all game and we'll wrap it up next monday on the show monday night we'll be recapping all the games of the NWSL. Thank you for tuning in.